looking at these two men six foot two and yet Fleury the taller at six foot three the perfect record for Fleury McClurkin making his debut the middleweights are in the cage they're ready for action and so is our MC Buddy Johnson Ladies and gentlemen, we are set for three five-minute rounds in the professional middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, standing six feet three inches tall and weighed in officially at 185.4 pounds. With one professional win and no defeats, from Dublin, Ireland, Will Fleury. And his opponent in the red corner, standing six feet two inches tall, and weighed in officially at 185.6 pounds. Making his professional debut this evening from Belfast, Northern Ireland, Kyle Big Sexy McClurkin. When the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Daniel Morbahedi. Well, you heard there, the crowd are warming up here tonight and they're warming up for Big Sexy, 24 years of age. And Chris, a lot of pressure on a young man like that with a big home crowd really looking for the win. Also, a great question as to how Flurry will look to utilize a reach advantage and more importantly, a preference to stay on the feet, in my opinion, to see if he can preserve that perfect pro record of 1-0. and Well, he's got to come into the south pool there. You, as you saw, Flurry keen to throw that right hand. But what he's got to come to terms with there is the big left hand can come straight back at him from McClurkin. Unsurprising to see Big Sexy standing this way. Again, showing the level change, nice check hook, leaning back. He's gonna shoot off that. A lot of wrestlers prefer their dominant leg forward. You can already see him coming in there. I would expect initiation to the clinch or the level change at any moment. And with the size of these two men at middleweight, it's not unexpected, this wary opening. So very cautious start. And then there's the left hand that Fleury has to be careful of. When he comes in fast like that, as we said earlier, he's light on his feet. But you saw McClurkin almost winding up that left hand as he did there again. Interesting tactics thus far for McClurkin. Maybe trying to sell the takedown, but then in came that left hand. Fastball left hand a moment ago, just skimming across Fleury's chin. Well, the thing is, for Fleury, he's still early in his career. We've talked about, you know, perfect record two as an amateur, one as professional. But to face a southpaw early in your career does still ask you a lot of questions. Left hook again, and it's Fleury who goes in for the shot. And that left hook, as we saw now, was a nice setup, wasn't it? That was the only aim of that left. Look at the takedown here. And the reshot again from Flurry. But the defense from McClurkin also very, very clean here. But don't forget, Flurry, two of his three wins are from submission, Chris. So this is where he'll be comfortable. He'll be looking for this again. And it's McClurkin who winds up on top. Flurry off his back. You heard the response immediately from this Belfast crowd. And McClurkin brings it straight back up, which is. What you wonder about that, Chris? He seemed to be in good position to drop those elbows, but immediately got back upright. Perhaps he sensed that Flurry's active guard was a problem, and maybe what McClurkin would prefer would be to get the takedown of the clinch and pass in doing so to negate that. But we'll see. I mean, one of the big questions was the game plan aspects, and the history of McClurkin led me to believe he would trust the takedown. And Flurry would want this on his feet, but it was frankly quite the inverse there a few moments ago. So. It was, Chris, totally the opposite, but another thing Flurry has to watch for, as he's doing his own work and coming forward to initiate, he's moving towards the favoured left hand of the southpaw. All the time his footwork is taking him into the danger zone. He needs to work the other way, because we've seen McClurkin is looking to fire off that left hand. And the that said, he has to get two big bucks from Flurry. And the third, and suddenly it's all over. Just as I was criticising him, he comes out with three. Huge punches, Chris. Unbelievable flurry. 2-0 comes north of the border and gets it done in one. Spectacular. Well, Chris, he was moving all the wrong way. He was putting himself in danger, but we see now it's for a reason. He had confidence in his ability, confidence in his striking, and those three right hands proved he was right to have that confidence. There were two things I was watching out for. Number one was whether or not he used the jab to cover himself as he moved into the power. The other was the battle for lead foot position. And when you take a look at here, the action, you'll see exactly why. Look at that. Just outside the lead foot of his opponent, 
Tons of power on that hook as he loads it, and that was one and done. Well, Chris, he's going the wrong way, but the right's come thundering in, and then the big left to finish. He stood there in the pocket, was confident, and boy, did he finish. Watch this final left. Bang! There it goes. It was the straight two down the middle, and then the left hook on the outside. Again, that lead foot is everything to watch out here for in those exchanges, and it's Flurry who walks away. We will go to our master of ceremonies, Mr. Buddy Johnson, to make it all official. Our referee called a stoppage to this bout at two minutes, 49 seconds of the first round. Your winner by TKO, Will Fleury. Ah!